Hello everyone. So we got rigid car 1.1 now, which supports controller input, which is pretty cool. So you just want to do like the last tutorial. So you install rigid car, make a collection called car, bring in the car mesh, and the wheels all separate. Gonna make sure the origins are set to the center. You can do that by going in here, set origin, and either to surface or to volume, but sometimes volume can mess up. And then once you've done that, the generate rigid car should show up in the object properties. You just want to click that on and it's going to do this, which doesn't look too good for now, but you just want to go into the X view, X axis. You want to transform the front wheels. You just move them where they have to be. There you go. Uh, so that should work now, but it will go through the floor because you gotta add um, a rigid body to the floor. You wanna make sure to use a mesh and final because if you deform the mesh, it's just gonna use like a low poly version of that, which is not great. Now it should just work. So you can use this like last time. So you can just go to item properties play around with the car and if you want to make sure that the collisions are correct you want to go into edit mode so you want to click the cube here you want to go into edit mode you want to go x-axis you want to enable mirror you want to just select the corners and roughly model out the car so the collisions are correct that should be fine and now the update part so now we have a rigid car controller you want to make sure you open blender as administrator because it's going to be installing uh, x input which requires administrator pr privileges so you just want to open your blender location run as administrator then it should install just fine there you go. For the controller part to work, you want to make sure that you have DS4 installed, which is this application. You can find that uh, by searching DS4 Windows, going to this website, just pressing download. You might want to restart your computer after installing this. You also want to make sure that in the preferences on the controller, you go to other and you change it from DualShock 4 to Xbox 360 or if you have any other controller you just want to switch to 360 because X input apparently only uh, functions better with the Xbox config. So now that you got that installed and everything you can go to the rigid body controller and you want to select the controller part the square here disable this and then now to click start controller you should be able to just use your controller right now the ground is very slippery so we can change the friction to 1.2 or something there you go now you should be able to just drive the car around do a little drifting very cool. Uh, I hope you guys like the update. And if you have any suggestions, drop a comment or whatever you do. <laughs> and I'll see you guys for the next update.